Hello everyone. My name is Arjun Esmeida and I am a senior developer evangelist with Automation Anywhere and welcome to the session on Insights into your RPA practice. It's all about optimizing your automation using analytics. We all know how important is analytics in general, but what's really important is what you measure and how you make these insights available for broader use across your organization and that's what we are going to focus in this session today. Let's look at the agenda for this session. We will look at how you can level up your RPA practice using analytics powered by Bot Insight. As part of Bot Insights, we are going to cover business dashboards, operational dashboards and RE dashboards. We will look at a demo for each of these three dashboards followed by Insights Anywhere. We will look at how you can get an integrated dashboard with the data coming from both Bot Insights and your enterprise data in Tableau. Let's get started with the basics of what Bot Insight is. Bot Insight is the embedded analytics and data visualization engine in the Automation 360 platform that allows you to get insights about your bots and from your bots along with the processes built on RE. All you have to do to get analytics from the bot inside is to drag and drop, select what you would like to analyze and you get automated visual dashboards to be shared so that you don't need to go through lines and lines of data in the Excel or feed data into a separate data visualization tool. Just immediate shareable insights ready to be shared whether you are looking for a bot performance or the data from a specific automated process. The data is aggregated and quantified for you. And these dashboards are interactive. You can slice and dice, you can filter through different attributes and customize it as per your business needs. Let's get deeper into measuring what matters. Bot Insight provides all the tools to look at a holistic view of RPA and intelligent automation data. To understand, manage and optimize your business performance, you need insights from your business process. Nearly every process that the bot automates involves a lot of data. This data can easily be converted into insights whether with just a single bot run, but it gets better over time. These insights can help identify the trends that the organizations can use to make business decisions. Similarly, to understand and optimize bot performance, you need operational analytics. Operational insights is all about bot performance. You can have a one-stop view of how all your bots are progressing and then you can drill down into individual bots. You can look at if the bots are executed successfully, if they have failed, and just in case if they have failed, you can look at what exactly caused that problem so that you can mitigate those issues accordingly. You can also set alerts and notifications so that you will get to know whenever there is a failure which happens in any of the bots or devices. And the next is RE dashboards. It helps you analyze the processes executed by all your team members end to end. It provides you with various widgets that provide information about requests created from the published dashboards in RE. Now let's understand each of these dashboards in detail. Business Insight Dashboards. You may have a few bots deployed to production or even hundreds or thousands of bots and all of these bots process a lot of data. As you automate more and more number of these processes, you can leverage the data flowing through these bots to derive the trends and accordingly design the go-to-market strategies. Typically, it requires extracting data from multiple sources. Let's see how you can leverage this data to derive insights. Let's look at a demo. Here is a bot which will process the data from supermarkets across three cities. We will focus on analyzing a few key variables such as cost of goods sold per city, product line 
and ratings. We have to tag these variables so that we can analyze them in the business dashboard. To do that, let's use the package called analyze. I will drag and drop the action called open just at the beginning of the loop and then I will also use the analyze close at the end of the loop. And now on the right side in the properties section we can see the variables which are available for us to tag them. As discussed earlier I'm going to select goods sold, product line, city and rating. I will click on save and now these variables are tagged to capture the values such that we can analyze them in the business dashboard. Let me execute this bot. Once the bot completes its execution, we can go and take a look at the values which were captured as part of this bot and then see how we can analyze them in the dashboard. Now that the bot is successfully completed, I will click on these three dots next to the close button and select the option analyze task bot. As you can see here, this is the business dashboard which is automatically created based on the variables we had tagged in the bot before execution. Now let's see what this dashboard consists of. On the left side we can see there are various attributes based on which we can filter the data. Now let's look at a couple of widgets which are displayed here. The first one is it is showing the total rating. However, for the rating it would matter if it has an average rating than the total rating. So let's see how we can change this. Click on these three dots and click on settings. And as we can see here, the metric is rating and it's aggregated by sum. Instead, I would like to aggregate it by average. So let me change this value to average and also change the chart title to what's the average rating. Click on next and click on finish. Now we can see that the average rating 6.5 is displayed. Let's look at the next donut chart. Here it is showing how does rating vary by city and again the ratings are all summed up. Instead I would like to see the cost of goods sold by city. Let's make the changes. Click on these three dots and click on settings. Now I will change the metric from rating to goods sold and then click on next and finish. Now we can see that this chart displays the cost of goods sold per city. However, I missed out to change the title here. Let me just go back and change the title quickly. I'll have the title as how does goods sold vary by city. Click on next and then click on finish. Moving on to the next donut chart. Here it is again showing me how does rating vary by product line. This is good, but I would like to see the rating aggregated by average instead of the sum. So let me change this again. Click on settings and then aggregate by average. Click on next and click on finish. Scroll down and here we will see a few more bar charts displayed here. Let's change the rating distribution by city, which is aggregated by sum into aggregation by average. Let's do that here and change the aggregation to average. Click on next and finish. Now we can see that the information is aggregated by the average of the rating. In the next chart, it shows the rating distribution by product line and again it is aggregated by sum. So let me change this to average. Click on settings and aggregate by average. Click on next and then I'll click on finish. And now it's showing me the average of the rating distribution by product line. Now let me show you how you can drill down on this product line to see the ratings, how it is distributed across the cities. Click on it and then as you can see there are multiple options based on which you can drill down into granular data. Let me select city. So now you can see that the data is displayed as per the city for that specific product line. If you don't want that, we can just click on this button so that you get back the data. So this is how you can drill down into the most granular levels to get the required details for yourself. Let me show you a couple of more options which are available here. On the left side, we have dashboard level filters. For example, 
if I just click on city and then select a particular city for example say Dallas and then click on apply you can see that all the widgets will change and the data which is related only to that city will be displayed. I can again go back by just uh, removing this dashboard level filter such that I have the information from all the cities. Similarly looking at couple of more actions on the right side we can see that you can save this as a new custom chart. You can make all the necessary changes you need it and then you can click on save as and give it a name so that the current default dashboard will be saved as a custom dashboard. And then you can compare a dashboard based on two different filters. You can also share it with multiple people in your organization and then you can also publish this dashboard such that it will be available for business users. And then we can use the filters. This is same as what we uh, looked at it earlier on the left side dashboard filters. We can take a screenshot and then we can also download this dashboard as a PDF. Let's look at an option on how does the screenshot function work. I'll click on screenshot and now it will open up in a new tab and then I'll just open it as an image in the new tab and then save it to my local system. I can give it a name, click on save and now you have the screenshot captured. Similarly, let's look at an option on how we can download it as a PDF. I'll select the option called download PDF and now in a few seconds you will notice that a PDF will start downloading automatically. Let's open this here you can see all the charts are downloaded as a PDF. Apart from these dashboards, we can also look at how the data looks like, whatever is used to create these dashboards. For that, click on profile. And now you can see the different variables which were tagged, the data type for each of these variables, whether they are included, what's the minimum value they have, the maximum value, the average and the sum. Also, you can see that there is this column called distinct count in which you will see a button called rank. When you click on this, you get to see different values based on each city in this case. Scroll down and now you can also see the transaction data such as like transaction start time, end time, the business transaction status, username, all these details will be displayed for you. Next is to see the data itself. For that, let's click on preview and now you can see that the values which were there in the spreadsheet is available here for you to review. That's all about the business dashboards. By the way, you can actually try these business dashboards in the community edition. The Excel spreadsheet used to create these business dashboards and also the bot which I showed you earlier is available for you in the Automation Anywhere GitHub repository. Please try it out. Let's get back to presentation to continue with the operational analytics dashboards. Operational insights are all about the bot performance and the utilization of devices. Let's say, for example, if I am a COE admin or an IT manager, it's important for me to ensure the health of the automation program so that the automations are running smoothly and efficiently. It's also important for me to be confident that these automation executions can meet the defined SLAs with my business counterparts. Let's look at the demo. As mentioned earlier, operations dashboard include three dashboards, bot dashboards, device dashboards, and audit dashboards. Let's look at each of them. First, to start with, we will look at bots dashboard. Here, this will tell us exactly how many total bot runs have happened on this control room, how many were completed successfully, how many are still in progress and how many have failed. It also shows us the weekly bot status corresponding to each status. And if there are any failures, on the right side we can see the table in which it clearly shows us the specific reasons for the failure so that the admin can take appropriate actions to ensure these errors don't happen again. Currently, it is showing for a specific date range. We can change the date range and see how the data reflects. Let's change the date range to reflect the data only for the month of April. 
For that, I'll click on this date range and then select the data only for the month of April. I'll select April 1st and then the end date as April 25th. So now the dashboards are updated to showcase the data only for the month of April. Again, if we want to drill down the data to a much granular level, say for example, we want to look at the information for a specific username. In that case, on the left side under the attributes, I click on the username and then I select a particular username and click on apply. Now it's going to show me the data only for that particular user ID we have selected. It will have the same options again for you, very similar to what we had seen in the business dashboard. Let's move on to the next dashboard, that is the device dashboard. This dashboard shows you how many devices are currently connected to this control room and online. In this case, we can see we have one online device and four offline devices. If there are any bots which are scheduled to run on these devices, it will also be displayed here. The next heat map for device utilization percentage shows how much of the time every device is being utilized on a daily basis. As we can see for this specific date, this device was used for 61.81% and remaining were not used. This gives us an indication of which of these devices are available and if we can use them for executing more bots. I can scroll down to the bottom of this heat map and see the name of these devices so that I exactly know which devices were run and what's the utilization percentage for each of these days. On the right side table, it shows me the device activity history. It shows me on which device which specific bot was executed, what's the status of the bot and also the bot start time and the end time. And if there are any failures, the error messages are logged in the next table. If I scroll down here, it shows me the top error messages which have occurred in these devices. This gives me an indication that this is the errors which we have to fix such that we will have a much more successful bot execution completion rate. That's about the device dashboard. Let's move on to the audit dashboard. I'll select the audit dashboard from the drop down here. This audit dashboard shows the event distribution. What are the different kind of activities which are being performed on this control room and the number of times a specific event is happening. As we can see in this first donut chart, it shows the event distribution by activity type. For example, the bot sent to device has happened 1307 times. Similarly, you can see all the different events triggered and the number of times it was executed. On the right side table, event distribution by username shows us which of the users are active on this control room. And then we can again drill down into a specific user to see which are the different actions which the user has performed. For example, let me click on this particular user and then select the activity type. So now it shows me the list of activities performed by this user again in the descending order. We can change uh, all the parameters required by again clicking on these three dots and selecting settings. Scroll down and here you have two more charts which shows event distribution by source and also by the control room source specifically showing what are the different events which have happened. That's all about the operational analytics dashboards. Let's move on to the next one that is RE dashboards. With RE dashboard in Bot Insight, you can analyze the processes executed by your team members end to end. It can vary from a simple summary to a cross-sectional department view. Let's look at the demo. We are in the RE dashboard page now. As we can see, we have a dashboard created by default. Let's click on it to see the details. This dashboard shows you the number of requests in different statuses. For example, how many requests are currently open, how many are completed, how many were cancelled and how many were even failed. In the request creation percentage heat map, we can see for specific day which of the requests were created. For example, let's say on a specific date April 21st, 
we can see that this particular process proof of funds letter generation was created for 50% of the total number of requests created on that day and there is another process for which 50% of the requests were created. Accordingly, we can see the data for the last 10 days in this heat map. In the request activity history, we can see which process was executed, who is the user who executed that particular process, what's the current status of the request, that request time started, ending, and also there's a specific ID assigned to each of the processes whenever the request was created. That's about the RE dashboard. Insights Anywhere with Bot Insight. The goal here is to ensure you can not only see the automation data just in Bot Insight, but also in the data visualization tool of your choice. For example, a lot of organizations, especially large organizations, have already invested in certain data visualization platforms such as Power BI and Tableau. The goal is to ensure you have all the enterprise data being aggregated in one place available for business executives to take strategic decisions. And we don't want the automation data to be present in a silo. That's where these connectors come in real handy. Let's say, for example, Tableau. It's already used by enterprise customers for all their data visualization needs. And now we can see how we can get the data from the bot insight into Tableau dashboards. As some of our customers have already invested in Tableau and have also trained their employees to use their dashboards in Tableau, it becomes easy for them to bring in the data from bot insights to Tableau so that they don't have to learn a new BI tool. Let's look at a demo in which we will combine the data from bot insights and also the data from a different source. Just for the demo purpose, we will get the data from my Excel, but in your organization, you may be pulling in data from any of the CRM tools like Salesforce or any of the marketing automation tools, or it can be the data from any of the HR or finance departments also. Let's see how we can combine the data from different sources and utilize the data coming in from the bot insight in Tableau dashboards. For this demo, I'm going to use Tableau public. To start with, I will click on web data connector to get the data from the bot insight. First, let me go to the login page here, enter the control room URL, the username and the password. Once you enter your credentials, click on submit. And here it provides you an option if you want to bring in the business information or the operational information. In this case, let's select the business information and click on get data. It's going to execute a query and then pull in the data from the bot insight. I'll click on update now so that I can see all the data which it has retrieved from bot insight. As we can see, these are the four variables we had tagged earlier. So we have the data for all this. Let's create a chart. In the first chart, we will look at the ratings received for each of the product lines. I'll add the product line to the column and the ratings to the rows. Now we can see that this chart is created and the chart is ready now. If there are any null values like this, I'm just going to filter them. Now let's add another data source. I'll click on data source and then add a new data source. In this case, I will take the data from a Excel. I'll select the spreadsheet and Tableau is going to pull in the data from the spreadsheet. Let's create a new sheet. Now let's create a chart to look at different payment modes used while purchasing the goods. For that, I'm going to use cost of goods sold in the rows and the payment in the columns. And now I want to create a stacked bar chart based on different product lines. For that, I'll drag the product line to the marks section and change it into a color. Now we can see the chart which shows us the payment modes used while purchasing different products based on each product line. I'll change the sheet name and call this as payment modes. Also, I'll change the sheet one name as ratings. 
Now let's see how we can combine the charts which are created based on the data from two different sources into a single dashboard. For that, let me click on this new dashboard. First, I'll drag and drop ratings. I want to reduce the size of this chart. Let me go to layout and make this as a floating and then expand the chart to fit the upper half. Now I'll go back to dashboard and bring in the payment modes chart as well. I'll drag and drop this here. Again, I'll go to layout and make this as floating so that I can move this to the required place and also increase the size the way I need it. I'll do the same to get the legend. Drag this here to the right side. And now I have a dashboard which contains charts based on the data coming from Bot Insights as well as a spreadsheet in my demo. It can actually be any data source. This concludes the demo on how to integrate data from multiple sources into a Tableau dashboard, mainly focusing on how we can get the bot inside data using the connectors. To recap, it's all about taking a holistic approach to optimize your automation program using data. Business dashboards. Here you can see the data flowing through your bots and analyze the raw data to derive trends which you can use to make strategic business decisions. Operational dashboards. It provides you real-time information about your bot's performance and the device utilization. You can use the device utilization aspect to ensure your automation resources are utilized in an efficient manner. With RE dashboards, you get to analyze and visualize end-to-end -end processes, identify bottlenecks and inefficiencies if there are any. Insights Anywhere, that is the Bot Insight and the Tableau integration. It provides the automation insights in the data visualization tool of your choice. You can combine RPA analytics with other enterprise data to derive 360 degree insights. To assist you in your learning journey, here are a few more resources. The Automation Anywhere University, the Developer Portal, and also the Documentation Portal. The URLs are all shown here. Thank you. Go be great.